Hi all and welcome to this video about pumping efficiency. In this video I am in the water supply section and I will be talking about pumping efficiency and also electromechanical efficiency. This is a continue, continuation video of the water supply video and I have already entered the data that I had entered before so you can see that I have an assessment in Jordan and that I have some data for water supply. What's important to know about evaluating pumping efficiency is that you can toggle it here. It also is not directly connected to the total GHG emissions. So basically what ECAM allows you to do is evaluate one pump. So when I enter data into this part of the tool, I am now evaluating the efficiency of a specific pump and not necessarily the entire system. The data that I enter is a mix of data that is measured from the pump and also, um, and also from the manufacturer. I am going to enter data for a pump that uh, only pumps a fraction of, of, this, of this water. So here we go. The energy consumed from the grid is... 16,720 kilowatt hours. This you probably have from your electricity bill or else an estimate from the pump. The water distributed from the pump also probably either, either you can estimate it from the flow rate of the pump or you are measuring it. The pump head is a number from the manufacturer, in this case 160. This should be written on the pump or be in the pump specs. The size of the pump should also be in the pump set specs. In this case, my pump is relatively large. Uh, the static head is the difference in altitude between your point A and point B, what, where the pump is pumping the water. In this case, there was about 40 meters of elevation gain. And the mains length doesn't factor directly into the calculation. But if you know it, it's good to put it for more context and more information about the pump. In this case, it was about six kilometers of mains. Here we can see that we already have some values about pumping efficiency. If we want to learn more about the electromechanical efficiency and also what it would mean to replace the pump, then we toggle yes here next to do you want to evaluate electromechanical efficiency of a pump. Now we enter a section where most of the data would be measured from the pumping station itself. Um, measured pump flow, in this case 50 liters per second. The volts were measured to be about 400. The current 500. The power factor is also measured to be Five. and the expected electromechanical efficiency of a new pump is usually around 80%. You could look at the specs of a new pump that you are looking to install. In this case, I'll go conservative and give 75%. Then you can see um, by entering this data that we now have estimated electricity savings and also estimated GHG reduction. So you can see how it would help to install a new pump in this case, and then make a decision if that makes sense for you to invest in. I hope that this video has made clear what the pumping feature of Ecamm can do, and that you all use it in your assessments. Thank you for listening and happy assessing.